This NFL best ball edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is brought to you by Shady Rays. Shady Rays is having their best deal of the year. Go to shadyrays.com and use code SGPN for 50% off two plus pairs of polarized sunglasses. We're also brought to you by SGPN's Draft Week. All week long, SGPN has you covered with draft props, mock drafts, and our live NFL draft watch party. So make sure to smash that subscribe button at youtube.com slash sports gambling podcast. Hi, this is Merrill Hodge, and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride, baby. Welcome everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Cram? Dog. A rare uh, NFL show in in April. No, Ryan. It's the National Football League. There are hashtag no days off. Sorry, I'm, I'm I got a little Noah in my uh, in my my giddy up right now after that. USFL New Jersey Generals. Are you kidding me? Uh, Ryan did hit his massive USFL bet. <laughs> I'm six and two in spring football. The Sixers swept the Nets. It's a good time. And of course, happy draft week. You're on the clock, America. Great week of shows planned. Uh, we got what do we got? We got a, a our live mock draft Wednesday night. We have our live uh, NFL draft watch party Thursday night, and then uh, Monday and Tuesday night we will be doing bonus NFL draft props episode. Getting you ready. The countdown to kickoff is on. What better way to kick off draft week though with an actual draft? Yeah, and I, I I'm sure. You know, you again. Stay tuned because they're pr- even maybe a bonus episode. I, I heard the XFL playoffs oh, this shit, weekend. Yeah, so we may. I got to keep my tout streak alive. So we will have to crowbar <laughs> in some well, spring I mean, football as well. Six and two is spring football. It, it it probably would pair well as a soundless thing going on in the background to like round rounds four, five, six, and seven in the NFL draft, right? It, the irony too of these kids playing in the XFL having no chance to be drafted in the NFL. Ryan, uh, of course, we're also going to hit on any sort of news uh, oh, again, youtube.com slash sports game and podcast. Get in uh, questions. Always open. Shout out to easy uh, love easy in the chat. Sean Wilson in the chat. Let it ride. What's good. So I, I was saying to you earlier in the mm. office before we fired up the stream that uh, now will Levis is the number two overall favorite trying to make sense of that. I thought it was maybe because the, the uh, my theory was that the Colts were going to trade up to two Texans were going to take four and they were going to be okay with that trade because, because <sighs> they were going to get their guy, Anthony Richardson. But now according to um According to a local source, it sounds like the Vikings are the team trading up for Will Levis. Oh my God. That is crazy. Uh, oh Kirk, Cousins God. 2. Kirk Cousins 2.0. Kirk Cousins 2.0. What are you going to learn like from Kirk Cousins? How you to build, like that? How to, how, to, how to put up some <laughs> glass around the locker room? Uh, <laughs> the Vikings? Viking, I mean, Whoa. Vikings to take a quarterback, um, pretty good. Uh, not like crazy long shot odds. They've made it clear they're ready to move on from Kirk okay. Cousins. All right, so let, we we talked about this. We yeah. I, we said we don't think it, it it would seem odd to trade with a division rival to give them it's, a quarterback a that would be a franchise quarterback. Yeah. So you have this incredible risk where it's like not only are you not taking the franchise quarterback, you're trading back. With a division rival who then is, is taking the franchise quarterback, it just feels risky. But the Texans pr- definitely don't give any fucks about that. The way they've run their ship up until this point leads me to believe they're not thinking about that. That being said, I like the idea that someone else comes up to two, mm. and then the, the Texans have to come up to three, though. I, 
can there be some fucking trades this year? <laughs> um, like last year, we were all hyped on the trades, and there weren't many trades. Uh, I know you'd probably throw your your AJ Brown trade in there uh, as, a, yes. as a fun trade. That was but, a tra- fun, very fun. And trade, maybe right? we'll get a Derrick Henry trade. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, NFL news. Super uh, team assemble. <laughs> some random. I love how you kept using the super team in spite of the fact that they went to the Super Bowl. Uh, what? Showing that they were a super team. You 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 had your super team assemble last year that you kept using to shit on the Eagles, and they had a super season. They made it to the Super Bowl. Well, we're looking forward, and adding a guy like Der- Derrick Henry is perfect. D. Bettis wanted to know: Are we getting Henry draft night? Yes. Uh, sources close to me say that's not going to happen. I, I, I I've just, heard that not only are they going to get Derrick Henry, then they're not, they're not going to they're not going to have to pay a penny of his salary. And the cap hit will all be Tennessee's. Are you, Ryan? You're jealous <laughs> of of Howie oh, Roseman's you fucking Philadelphia cap wizardry. Nerds. Wizardry. No, it's horrible. Well, the only thing you can say negative. Still haven't seen signing, that. Still haven't seen that contract. Because you don't need to. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's yeah, on your fucking to. business. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need? Are you digging through their paperwork? What are no, you the IRS? No, I'm not. I'm not. What are you the IRS? I just, we, pay, we pay all our bills. of these. And this is really this, this is more of a mess. This is not a message to you, Sean. This is a message to Ian Rappaport, Adam Schefter, all these real reporters out there. You you report a couple years of a contract and you just go away. Yeah. You forget about it. Seems it seems incomplete. That's all. We should I, I would be shocked if the Eagles trade for Derrick Henry. I truly would. I, I think them drafting B. John Robinson. Well, you're uh, in well, on this now? Well, also unlikely. I think drafting Bijan Robinson is more likely to me than trading for Derrick Henry. I, I mean, they did meet with him. Who? They did meet with yeah, Bijan. Bijan. So I'm saying, if if you had to tell me which one of those two guys is more likely to be on the Eagles roster, I would say Bijan Robinson. I still think both are a pretty fa- a pretty long shot because again, the Eagles haven't shown ever that they value the running back position. Um, they're not going to pay a running back a bunch of money, and they're not going to use a ton of draft capital for a running back. Now, Bijan did tell them that he was a difference maker. I I, I love that attitude oh. from Bijan. But uh, Bijan, like a dude just trying to close the deal at the job interview, like not a, like he's sensing it's going bad. He's like, no, I'm not just a running. The back. The Eagles have been consistently good because they build in the trenches. They draft offensive linemen when they don't need them. They draft. They consistently draft defensive line. I the more I think about it, I'm going to release my mock draft the next day or so here. I do think Nolan Smith to the Eagles, mm. I think, is the pick that I think the Eagles are going to do. Although I, I wouldn't be shocked if they go offensive lineman. I feel like it's going to be so you a are in on offensive line draft. now, potentially. Uh, I, what do you I, mean in on it? Like well, the, the, well, at one point, the odds are like minus two hundred. I don't see it. I don't think. Yeah, my I don't th- think they like Skaronsky enough to use that on him. And it's more like how you're projecting the, uh, yeah, I, I get it. Like you, if you're able to get the it's number one D-line. offensive lineman, sure. But like D line is a need and they love drafting defensive line. It's also one of the positions that isn't being seen as like this really weak class this year. Yeah. And they are in position to get one of those guys. So I, I, to me, that's the obvious play. And again, uh, the, the 50 to one long shot for them to draft a receiver, I think is in the mix. If they can trade down to like 14 or 15 and, you know, get one of those top receivers, maybe even still get the number one receiver in the draft. I think that's very appealing to Howie Roseman and Jeffrey Lurie. Very uh, appealing. Uh, and the I, other I one, they could take the other the, one, the, the other one of those long shot bets that we've been given out, Ryan, of course, uh, your giants, 75 mm-hmm. to one to draft the tight end. I think Dalton Kincaid uh, makes a lot of sense for your offense. And the the bet I gave out for I the disagree completely with that take seventy five to one, but uh, the the Raiders to draft a running back, aka Bijan Robinson, a hundred to one. It's now down to fifty to one, Ryan. Really? Yes. Without me even releasing my mock draft. Um. Yeah, I, I mean, the giant. It, it won't be Kincaid if the Giants take the tight end. Okay, I'll tell you that. I'll take Luke Musgrave. I think they they're interested, but I I don't think it's gonna be first. 
All right, All right should we should we fire up? We're, so we're we're heading to the cash streets. Underdog not running any sort of big uh, big bang tournaments right now. They are only running superflex. Whatever. Best ball mania I, coming I, soon. Yeah, I don't I don't know what they're trying to tell us about their platform, but only running superflex right now, really. Underdog in the week le- leading up to the draft. Excited for best ball mania four. But so Sean and I thought it'd be fun if we entered a uh, hundred dollar. Is your location services all set? I think so. All right. So we're going to enter a 400 or a hundred dollar. Let me switch the screen over. It's only a four person draft. So apologies. So, yes. well, there, there will be you. There's two spots available. Yeah. Although you're gonna have to time this Ryan. All right. Are we ready? I'm ready, but we all might right. have to wait for, I'm going to enter one, two. Oh, are you in? I'm in. All right. We got one spot. One left. spot. One I was gonna special say, I listener. I don't think these fill up all that fast. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be someone who is intimately aware of what we're drafting. Now this is super flex Sean. quick, quick review of the rules because it is only four people. Nothing changes, but the number of teams. Hmm. Okay. Good to know. Hey Ryan, <laughs> while we wait for uh well, while we wait for uh, a foursome, hey. Uh, also, speaking speaking of uh, golf, we had uh, a couple guys playing the celebrity golf events. Uh, John mm. Smoltz and Jeremy Roenick, uh, both awesome interviews. Make sure you go back, check those episodes out. Before we get to that, Shady Rays. Oh man, hopefully the guys were uh, out there, out golfing. Maybe they were rocking their Shady Rays. You know, a guy like Jeremy Roenick. Uh, John Smoltz, you know, they, they love it. Love a shady race, uh, independent sunglass company, world-class product. I I've, I've worn expensive sunglasses. I've worn shady rays. I honestly could not tell you the difference. One, the shady rays just look badass. sliding them on right now. The polarized shades, uh, great for golfing, skiing, uh, out on the lake, the river, if you're a river guy. Yeah, whatever you're getting into in the summer, just sitting out here in your front porch, hammered out of your mind, uh, you gotta rock some sweet shades. And Shady Rays are the official shades of the summer. Love my Shady Rays, and again, they're they're, they're very very affordable, especially for what a what an awesome sunglass um, they are. Sean, if I may, yes, I I did uh, I did get a. Uh, We'll just say a friend of the program, Rich, mm. reached out who he's close to the Beaver program. He did. He goes, "Be real with me, off the record. These shady <laughs> rays any good?" And and my review would be this. Uh, yeah, I again, I, I'm a I'm yes, a. Sir. If you don't know me, you might not know that reliability and durability is important to me, Ryan. I've, I've, these things fell off my head so many goddamn times. Well, and at, again, at you break them or you lose them. Uh, again, they didn't, nothing's wrong with them. Uh, uh, when we were hanging out at Stadium Swim, you have a couple cocktails, you're out there in the sun, you get, hey, your brain starts getting a little fried. Uh, so many times I thought, oh my God, I lost my shady rays. And then I thought, who gives a shit? They have an amazing loss and broken replacements policy. If I lose it, no big deal. Get a get a replacement pair. Just go to shadyrays.com, use the promo code SGPN, get 50% off. Two plus pairs of polarized shades. Try for yourself. The sunglasses rated five stars by over 200,000 people. Also great time to talk about underdog fantasy. Again, we're doing our live, uh, live draft here. Best ball. Uh, they got daily NBA, NHL, MLB. Perfect time for the playoffs. Get some sweet player prop parlays. Uh, underdog fantasy.com promo code SGPN hundred percent deposit bonus up to $100 and our SGP and drafts contest, uh, draft props contest, $250 cash and a $50 gift card completely free to enter. It's for uh, discord only. So if you're not in the discord, you can't do it. Good news is completely free to join the discord. What are you waiting for? Sports gambling podcast.com slash discord. Waiting for one person, Ryan. Are we going to have to wait for a comically long time? I don't know. I got to get home and watch succession. What are we doing here? Uh, it's unclear. I figured there, it wouldn't be a long time. Before someone in the chat, one per, you know what we maybe Come on. someone in the chat, someone in the chat, it's a hundred bucks and you got what you got like 25% chance of well, if you signed up with our promo code, you probably got a free $25, yes. maybe more no, deposit. Oh, no, it's match. Right? If you're, if you're watching now in the chat, YouTube.com slash sports gambling podcast. Deposit one hundred dollars. <laughs> you have a free hundred dollar entry. 
Come sit in my lap, young fellow. Any you uh, any other? So okay, that makes sense. That the if the Vikings are the team trading up. So the fun version of the draft: the someone trades up to two, Houston trades up to three, and then the draft goes on from there. Mm. Uh, the reason but I but if want the Vikings that, you, trade up for Will Levis, what do you think? What do you think the Colts do? Colts, from what I've told sources inside the building. I'm saying they're definitely getting a quarterback. Will Levis is number one on their yeah, board. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you what's going to happen. So if someone else, not the Colts, they get Levis. Ursay immediately panics and says, "Get the other guy," which is Anthony Richardson. So they try to trade up to three to get AR fifteen. Houston, as you mentioned, the whole time they're in on AR fifteen. They pull the trigger with the Cardinals first because they knew this might happen. Somehow Houston's planned in this in this scenario. Houston trades up. So now at four, we have Arizona who's only traded back one. They say, fuck it. Let's get, take the best defensive player on the board. Jalen Carter. Boom. I hit a big payday as I have Jalen Carter as the fourth pick overall, Sean. <laughs> that, it, it's feasible. I just told the story of, uh, to, to many people and I, there's going to be at least one or two people who are like, you know what? That does make some sense. Ryan, no. uh, with Tom Brady's retirement, who has the longest Alleged. active Alleged. quarterback start streak? Longest start streak in the NFL. I mean, is it Kirk Cousins? It's not. Okay. Uh, you like that? Uh, I mean, quarterbacks get hurt a lot now. Mm. I mean, I, I don't want to say I, I, part of me really wants to just say Jalen hurts n knowing he missed the end of the season because that's funny. I, I don't know the answer. What's the answer? Josh Allen. Oh, you didn't even, you didn't even really try to guess. I wouldn't have guessed Josh Allen in a long time. Yeah. That's why it's good trivia. He didn't miss. He's played. What's the streak? It's a good question. Oh, you can't, you gotta be ready for the got to be ready for the the counter. 71. Really? Yeah. No. Dating back to his rookie year. He hasn't missed a game? Uh longest That's current active quarterback start streak. Yeah, in my head. If I he's came been, to He's you. been banged up. He had that shoulder thing, but I guess he must have played through the entire uh thing of it. If I came to you today, uh, no, he never missed a game? That's impressive. I mean, I'm not a Josh Allen. I know it seems like I'm a Josh oh. Allen hater. Yeah, you are. I, I'm just simply pointing out he's not as good without Brian Dable. Easy as saying, "All right, I'm making an." Uh, <laughs> uh, he said he's making an account. Hold on. All right, we're waiting for you, Easy, to get in, go head to head. Uh, this is really, you know, shame on the chat. Talk so much shit about how our picks suck, and then when you have an opportunity, and just to play with the big dogs. I I get it. It is a super flex. It is. Yes. Yeah, it, it, our crowd, our fans. I mean, we look at the survey data. Not a lot of super flexers out there. Right. It's, it's a little late for the super flex. Who is the uh, <laughs> Who is the number one team as far as lowest Super Bowl odds coming out of the NFC? When you say lowest, you mean worst? Uh, or are you saying best? What is according to the odds maker the most likely team to win the Super Bowl from the NFC? Uh, the Eagles? No. The Niners. A team with uh, uh, starting quarterback, quarterback as Sam Darnold. It's got to be the Niners. How can how can <laughs> Sam Darnold be the most likely team to be to win the <laughs> NFC? How? I you know, I was on uh, I was on Vison and talking about this very matter. Like how find every creative way you can to fade that team in the division, in the conference, whatever, whatever it means. It means that the Eagles are probably undervalued. Uh, it means that oh, thank you, Ryan. Seattle and Arizona, like I, I, this is my statement on the matter. I, it, maybe you take a little piece of Arizona, although the coach already, is he going to make it to the start of the season? <laughs> Jonathan right. Gannon. Well, I mean, he made up a story about dealing with the press. Is that essentially what happened? Yeah. Well, this I is mean, pathetic. I assume you was, had a whole diehard Eagles episode on this topic. It, it was, it was pretty funny. He's like, yeah, we were nine to no Eagles are never nine to no. And then he's like, yeah, we were leading the league by like 30 plus sacks. Obviously Football that was coaches never are just fucking dumb, dude. Yeah. He, well, he, he was just very sensitive. 
Uh, and, and clearly the Eagles media <laughs> got to him. This is hilarious. Like just looking at the Super Bowl odds. So obviously the Eagles are second in the NFC. Who's the third team, Ryan? Third NFC team. It's either gonna be this. It's the Lions. No Cowboys. Cowboys. Yeah. Cowboys, then Lions, then count <laughs> Lions then, are the fourth team. Then probably Vi like something like Viking Saints. Giants is probably in that Saints, range. Thirty five to one. It's crazy. Seattle's in that range with the Giants. All right, Ryan, you had a place. I'm giving you a hundred dollars. You either have to bet on the Houston Texans to win the Super Bowl or the Arizona Cardinals to win the Super Bowl. Cardinals. Really? Uh, just uh, pure, pure division path. I, I, I guess you can. It's tough to bet on Houston again. Maybe that's what it will take <laughs> well, to get Houston going. Go, no, but I mean, Houston drafts a quarterback. They draft Anthony Richardson. I, I everything goes right. D'Amico Ryan's has the defense yeah, firing I, on all cylinders. They sneak into the playoffs. I want very badly for this this Gannon guy to be good, but it it's not just based on this story. Based on pretty much every piece of media I've read about him since he took over as the Cardinals coach, he, it doesn't see is Nathaniel Hackett too far. Could he be a Nathaniel <laughs> Hackett? I don't know, man. It's, it's off how to good was start. that defensive line on the Eagles that this guy was uh, getting jobs based off of it. Well, he got, he, he got, seems like a complete moron. Their defense was like obviously way worse the year before. And he was getting a ton of Head coaching buzz and, and no one within Eagles circles understood it. It it really made no sense. The last four teams, as far as Super Bowl odds, three of them come from the AFC South: Titans at eighty yeah, to one, makes sense. Colts a hundred <laughs> to one, Texans at two hundred to one. That's crazy. It it is a comically bad division. That the Jags I, I are definitely not going to win. I think it's uh, <laughs> I think it's an open division, but to to, to pretend that. The Jacksonville Jaguars again, a, a, a guy in Trevor Lawrence who threw four interceptions in one playoff game. Did to, to just hand the reins off to him is just crazy. Who are you more interested in fading, the Lions or the Jags? Hmm. I feel like these are already the crowned like they're they're the combination of like everyone's everyone that doesn't root for a team and just plays fantasy football is rooting for these teams. And everyone who's a fucking like analytics nerd. Is well, Ryan, you mentioned uh, you mentioned uh, the Detroit Lions, and perfect transition to SGPN presents Real Men of Dgens. Real Men of Dgens. We salute you, Jameson Williams, Quintez Cephas, Shaka Tony. And four Lion Team employees for daring to dream, for loving to gamble so much that all you have to do is when gambling, not do it at the team facility. And still, your love of gambling overpowered that simple basic rule, costing you hundreds, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, opportunities, possibly in with Quintus Sevis, your career. Shout out to CJ Moore as well. You guys truly. Are real men of DJs. I I mean, first of all, I pat myself on the back because as soon as I saw the difference in suspension time, I was like, oh boy, this is gonna be delicious. We're gonna learn some stupid fucking technical rule that they broke. You know exactly <laughs> what happened too. Like James well, yeah. So Jamison Williams, it sounded like he only got six games because they were betting on college football, which they're allowed to do, but they were doing it at the team facility. And the other guys who got suspended indefinitely, we haven't heard why. Uh, something is still fishy. Like to me, oh no, it, I think it's it's straight up. I think the guys who are suspended indefinitely bet on the NFL. Yeah, one hundred percent. Or like maybe as simple as. Doing something stupid like betting a little three teamer. Well, they they must have had some sort of office pool or some sort of rat that like how did all these guys from Detroit get caught all at once? Oh, because of a rat. 
One hundred percent. There's a rat. So I I'll, it must I'll, be the IT guy who's I, seeing well, all the uh, seeing all like the login and URLs. So I, I have a I have a situation where I was once at a place that had a rat with a gambling mm. situation, and it's very simply someone who's just butthurt about the situation. So someone probably lost money, or someone probably didn't pay someone's bet. I first of all, this probably came up as like Jameson Williams is hanging hanging out with the the IT guys. And someone brings up a really good point about a, a college football matchup. And he's like, shit, I got to get down on that. Or maybe they're all listening to the sports gambling podcast and they hear Colby talk about the triple option. Yeah. And they get down on Georgia Southern. I mean, they definitely like the idea that because they were on the, the lion's Wi-Fi. I mean, it's both incredibly stupid and for them incredibly stupid because they almost certainly have signs in the building. Right? Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, they don't have enough gambling literature, educational right, Ryan, literature. I'm leaving the draft. We what do you find mean? It. We, no one's joining this Wait, draft. All right, give it. Let's give it two more minutes. No. You wanted to do this. I did not want to. I, you said you gave me an. Uh, uh, you said you want to do a ten dollar one. You said four people will go quicker. Yeah, I thought it was going to be. We got to get idea. one one person in here, and we we're we're good. You don't know any people. The, uh, the, the chat's letting us down. Easy said he's still trying to. Get <laughs> he's trying. He's just slow. Dude, row the boat right. on both sides. Kitch is saying uh, Colby Dundee made me big USFL money. Oh, what do you mean, Colby Dundee? Yeah, come on. I was six and two at the spring ball. <laughs> uh, Bruin dude, two twelve. It, it's only ten bucks. That that's the normal one we do. Uh, they're between right now mega tournaments, so we're doing the hundred dollar four yeah. person winner take all, aka our own little gauntlet here. Yeah, public. And I guess we. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, it, well, the the most ridiculous thing about the Niners being co favorites to win the NFC is. I mean, it, it's not. Their argument last year was like, "Wow, we lost our second quarterback <laughs> or our third quarterback." It's like, "Well, all right. Well, that's where you're starting this year. You're starting on your third quarterback, aka Sam Darnold. Are they drafting a quarterback? Are they gonna fucking CJ Stroud going into the the Niners? I don't know. I." If you're a Niners fan, you're not looking at anyone with a straight face as Sam Dar Sam Darnold's your starting quarterback. <laughs> uh, we're, what do you? Brock Purdy himself. I, I don't know if you heard this, Sean, but Brock Purdy himself said that he does not think he's going to play this season. Uh, Trey Lance, the front office hates. They want to trade. Uh, so I I I suppose it's going to be Sam Darnold. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I mean, I think they're crazy to trade Trey Lance. As much as I don't like Trey Lance, I think you're kind of crazy to trade him because then you're only leaving yourself Sam Darnold. There's there's still maybe a slight chance Trey, Trey Lance, Lance is good. Um, but When's the last time we saw him be good in football? Trey Lance? <laughs> How many years ago? It was like 2018. Yeah, right? I mean, you got to talk about COVID. <laughs> A lot of, th a lot of financial things. crisis in the eighties. <laughs> a lot of things have changed. I, his like pass attempts per year and at a high level of football is just comical, comical. All right. Well, I, I don't know if easy is finding it. No. All right. What, what? Oh, he's still working on the not a robot thing. <laughs> it is easy a robot. He might be. We don't. We don't know that he's not a robot. I don't think we need to ask that kind. Trey of Lance, twenty twenty two, attempted passes thirty one. It's a stark decline from his uh, high of in twenty twenty one, seventy one of passes. So past two years, hundred two passes attempts. All right, and let's um, let's kick it over to uh, mm -hmm. his college career. It one year, right? One year in the FCS. FCS is the second tier, right? After the 131, uh, 133 FBS teams, you go to the FCS. Uh, 2020, 15 attempts passing. He was one or, uh, oh, wait, no, sorry. That was, what am I looking at? 
Oh, that was Russian receiving sets. Apologies. He's dying. No, no, he was he attempted 30 passes in um 2020. So in the okay. past three years, he's attempted 132 passes. That's 132 more than me. No, I've attempted way more. Not in an NFL game? No. Uh, not on the stat sheet. No. Uh, not officially. Off the, off the record. 2019. <laughs> 287 pass attempts and then 2018 one pass attempt. His uh, highest <laughs> yards per attempt were in 2018 where he was one for one for 12 yards. 200.8 QB rating. How who like his agent is genius. How did this uh, happen? Ge- yeah. At, at least Will Levis played 5 years of real college football. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Are we aborting this? Uh, yeah. It feels like no one wants to join our uh, our. We we scared him off with the high money, Ryan. Should we try? What do you want to do then? I'll let you call it. Okay. I want no responsibility. All right, we're squi- We left that draft. We will now enter. <laughs> Let's see here. Three person, oh. eight dollar. Eight dollar. Where is that? What sport are you in, Sean? NFL. No, I yeah. don't see any eight dollar. Oh, the prize is eight dollars. Three dollar <laughs> drafts. You want to do a three dollar? I mean, not particularly, but it looks like the only one that might fill. None of these other ones look like they're going to fill. You want to do the three person? Why don't we do the three person twenty five dollar right, draft? It looks like it. there's already someone else in there. I don't think that means there's someone in there. I think that's just how big the con or no, maybe you're right. No, I'm right. All right. We're we're filled. We got a <laughs> three man weave here going forward. Oh, this is this is this is actually perfect for super flex. Okay. Because yeah, couldn't be more perfect for super just three dudes drafting teams. Just some dudes. You, me, and uh Putch Street. <laughs> just three dudes just having a good time <laughs> drafting a team. Give an underdog ten percent of our pot. Oh, I got the three pick, Sean. You got the two pick. Yep. What's your strategy here? How many quarterbacks will you take? That's a good question because I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. I still think you only take four quarterbacks. But again, oh yeah, I think so. But there was much better quarterback. Yeah, but there's only two other people in our league. I just have to draft the four that you want to draft. Look at this draft board. It's so puny. <laughs> See what we can do about this. All right, let's start firing away. Draft starts in three, two, one, and we're drafting underdog fantasy. All right, here we go. Yeah, this is Ben Haskell saying graveyard draft. Oh, he went Christian McCaffrey. Oh, you're damn right. I'm taking Jalen Hurts. Dog. All right. Kramer, you're on the clock back to back. So you get two picks. I'm guessing you're going. I mean, our teams are going to be insanely good. Yeah, this this draft's going to be fun. Josh Allen. Are you taking Patrick Mahomes? Yeah, I'm going to take some quarterbacks. What do I do here? Do I. Do I do it and pull the trigger on Justin Fields? You're damn right. He had eleven thousand forty-three rushing yards. Of course, I'm taking Patrick or Justin Fields. Oh, this guy's interesting. He's going Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase. He's, he's zigging. He's uh, zigging when we're zagging. So. It's kind of genius because now he realizes we can only draft so many quarterbacks. All right, let's see what you're doing here. I'm gonna draft Joe Burrow just to piss him off. What oh. are you doing, Ryan? I think I'm, oh, there we go. Let me put everything back on the screen. My up. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to stop. I take Lamar Jackson. Take Travis Kelsey. I mean, it's, what do you? All right. I'm Justin Herbert. So I got Jalen Hurts, Justin Fields, Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert. Four quarterbacks already, huh? Yep. Now here come the skill guys. Got to go, AJ Brown. Dog. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see how this guy, how this uh, helped hit this guy. I'm still getting some studs. 
Amon Ross St. Brown, does that move him up your board, Ryan? What? Amon Ross St. Brown, because no. Jameson Williams goes up. I, I don't think so. I think you were already projecting him to be a like a top shelf guy. Yeah. I mean, I, I the way I would take I, I think you were you were pretty high on on Jameson Williams. I, I Williamson, I think so I, I yeah, I mean I think he was he had a he had a nice upside, but he's also gonna be with the team. I mean, six weeks, I, I don't think it's a huge deal. All right, just in, I, I oh wait. Barkley still out there. Uh -oh. I take my uh Dan Jones. <laughs> Oh my God. This team is insane. <laughs> I know my team. I got AJ Brown, Devonte Adams, Devonta Smith, T Higgins. What's the crazy you. I do hope that this draft this, uh, this week is crazy. I do hope there's some action last year. I, uh, there was, there was all this anticipated movement and there wasn't any, and then the quarterbacks all fell like crazy. Did they fall? I mean, I, I think there was some thought that there would be more than a quarterback taken in the first 24 picks or whatever. Yeah, just one in the first round. Do I take Have you drafted a running back yet, Ryan? I have sake one. So yes, I've taken one. Any any news on the contract situation? On the contract situation with who? Take one Barkley. No, it's a, it seems to be working out. Kramer, move the board down. Guys in the YouTube love uh love when you slide that board down. Smash! I'm gonna take Kramer you. drafts Bijan Robinson. I just drafted Mike Williams. I mean the the this draft is hot and heavy, guys. <laughs> This is flying. Listen to this team I have. So Jalen Hurts, Justin Fields, Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert. Uh stacking with AJ Brown, Devontae Adams, Devonta Smith. So I have an AJ Brown, Devonta Smith. Then I have Joe Burrow, T. Higgins. Then I have Justin Herbert, Mike Williams, Keenan Allen. Very nice. I mean, do you have any stacks, Ryan? Yeah. No. What, do I need to spell it out for you? J no, but Josh no, but Allen, generally, generally we tell people who were drafted. Josh, all listening right. along. yeah, exactly. And I've been doing that. You're just locked into your draft. Josh Allen, Mahomes, both stacked with their top targets, Kelsey and Diggs. Lamar Jackson, naked, which we we know we like a naked Lamar. Dan Jones, stacked with Barkley. Then we got Bijan and Nick Chubb, and then we got Tyree Kill, Jalen Waddle, and Chris Olave. Any other fucking questions? I didn't think so. Trevor Lawrence is sliding down this draft. So is Kirk Cousins. Josh Jacobs goes. Wonder, hey, wonder where he's going to end up. Could have taken Derrick Henry once then. they draft Bijan. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! All right, I guess I got to start drafting some running backs. You don't have to. I'm going to take DeAndre Hopkins. <laughs> really? That's the guy you went with? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a confidence boosting draft because you just end up with an insanely yeah. good team. Like I, I, I didn't miss on a single pick. I saw that it was trending. Drake London was trending because he, uh, he grew a beard. Uh, DK Metcalf really like DK Metcalf and our, my guy Calvin Ridley coming out talking shit. Who's he talking shit on? I'm, he's just saying it's not. I, I expect that I'm going to come back and be one of the best players in the league. So I'm in. It's the only thing on Jacksonville I'm in on this year. I really appreciate that he was willing to be the pioneer of getting suspended gambling <laughs> on football. Cause it was complete night. Like he just didn't. All right. How many running backs do you think you're supposed to end up with? Once all these get these quarterbacks off my board. Has the guy we're going against drafted a quarterback yet? I don't know. It makes me want to take more. I don't think so. Maybe we should just completely take all the quarterbacks. Just box this motherfucker out. <laughs> eh. 
Tony Pollard available, Ryan. Although you already got Bijan, so you you have a cowboy to root for. No, I, <laughs> you think he's gonna be a cowboy? Oh, there's it does make chance. sense. Dalvin Cook, do the do the Vikings <laughs> do the Vikings? He, is he on their roster? Come, uh, week one? that's such a good question. Thank you. I, it doesn't seem like it. They're not talking about it like it. Najee Harris in the seventeenth round. That's a great pick. Thank you. For like a boomer looking for running backs. <laughs> Kramer, you got four quarterbacks, four running backs, seven receivers. You already have a tight end. Yeah, I'm gonna finish up my tight end situation with some Kyle Pitts. And then, oh yeah. Just load up on more. Let's see. Do I want to? This is a really fun game to play because you end up with every guy you like. Yeah. Every guy you ever thought of drafting, they're all on the team. Still a lot of quarter. I do. do I. I mean, one more. Oh, this guy's first quarterback you drafted was uh, oh, God. Dak Prescott, oh, Deshaun Watson. Jesus. Horrible you have to fucking. Know when to call. You're on the clock. Yep. Just took uh, Dalvin Cook. Got a nice stable RBs going. Okay, so I have DK and Lockett. I have Ridley and Kirk. And I have Waddle and Hill. That's pretty electric. Just drafted Dallas Goddard. Hey, that's the end of the draft. Fuck. Oh do shit. I, do I have the right positions? I I got so lost in. All right, Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Daniel Jones, Saquon <laughs> Barkley, B. John Robinson, Nick Chubb, Travis Etienne, Tyreek Hill, Steph Diggs, Jalen Waddell, Chris Olave, DK Metcalf, Calvin Ridley, Christian Kirk, Terry McLaurin, Michael Pittman, Tyler Lockett, Travis Kelsey, Kyle Pitts. Did you take any tight end, Sean? Thankfully, I I, <laughs> I did take one. I completely forgot about it. My team is going to dominate this. So I have one my one tight end, Dallas Goddard. Listen to this, my listen to my quarterback room, Ryan. Jalen Hurts, Justin Fields, Joe Burrow, Justin <laughs> Herbert, running running backs, Miles Sanders, Aaron Jones, Najee Harris, Ramondre Stevenson, Dalvin Cook. The receivers I just couldn't stop drafting though. AJ Brown, Devontae Adams, Devonta Smith, T. Higgins, Amon Ross St. Brown, Mike Williams, Keenan Allen, Garrett Wilson, DeAndre Hopkins, oh, DJ Moore. You probably did it right. DJ Moore is my worst receiver, and I just draft him because he's a field stack. I don't know. T. I, Higgins with Joe Burrow, Mike Williams, Keenan Allen, Justin Herbert. Hey, you, 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 the, the Devontae Adams in here? I don't love I don't love this guy's team, to be honest. Although it says I'm projected to, oh no, that's pick three. Okay, I'm gonna look at this. His name is Put. He's got a shield next to him. We could could have gotten eaten up by a sharp here. He's got Trevor Lawrence, Dak, Deshaun, and Tua. So he's got my quarterbacks for my stack. Based on my team, I should have traded him some quarterbacks. All right. Hey, I'm a little disappointed in people not getting. Yeah, uh, we'll we'll get the hundred dollar one. Uh, and I don't know if we I don't know if we go back there. Best ball mania four coming. There's going to be millions of dollars in prizes up for grabs. Again, this was a great appetizer uh, to get us ready for SGPN draft week. We got a couple more draft prop episodes and then Wednesday night mock draft mania Thursday night, the live draft watch party, watch along. Uh, we have uh, basically a representative from each team. They'll react. Uh, they'll basically watch the draft with us. Uh, we'll have the draft, you know, the in studio cam going, and it's uh, electric, electric. Well, we might have to get cereal on camera for the Cowboys. Should oh we yeah, let them on. <laughs> that is a disgusting. Yeah, right. act. It's a Discord only for the Cowboys fans. Oh, Kitch is uh, talking smack, saying Kramer is Patty the Goat Mahomes with Kelsey. You getting flashbacks, Sean? Uh, you know, as long as we're playing on a regulation field, I, oh, I like our chances. Oh wow! <laughs> hey, and of course, make sure you 
Smash that subscribe button. Get in our Discord. Get in on the free NFL drafts props uh, contest. It's in the NFL channel. You can't miss it. Highly recommend it. It's a free contest. How, yeah, two hundred fifty dollars okay. cash, fifty dollars uh, SGPN gift card to the winner. Having a hard Thank time you for participating in the sports gambling podcast. Having a hard time calculating that over. Yeah, there. massive EV. Toss us a nice rating and review. Always, uh, always giving out bonus. Uh, gift cards to awesome reviews. Again, thank you as always for tuning in the Sports Gaming Podcast. Smash that subscribe button. Smash for the Sports Gaming Podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green, and he is Ryan going home to watch draft day. Sean Kramer, let it ride. <laughs>